And it does look like at least radar showing some precipitation falling up into Yellowstone. It may be mixed in with a little bit of snow, but for the rest of us, just clouds. And for the snake, we were playing a bunch of wind. This is associated with a cold front, very weak cold front that's draped with the southern part of the state. That's why we're seeing so much wind. Well, there's another cold front way off towards the northwest that will give us more wind tomorrow and then cool us off again going into midweek. So changes, yeah, seems like they just keep on coming now. Open the door up for them Saturday night and we can't stop them. Yeah, the change in temperatures, change in wind speed, of course, the change in sky condition, uh, sky condition and and we're seeing some snow up the mountains too. So it's kind of kind of interesting to see that change compared to just a week ago. We're at 62 right down Otto Falls, only 59 up in Salmon, Haley also 59. We do have some 70s on the map, usual spots that are usually warmer than we are. Salt Lake City, one of those spots where the current temperature is 73. Forecast tonight, wind advisory until 8 this evening. So basically, we're looking at the potential wind gusts up to 45 miles per hour. So we're not quite done yet. Low temperatures, they'll range from the mid to upper 30s to lower 40s. So we're all staying above freezing. And two reasons why we won't be as cold as you would think, being that there is a cold front over the top of us, that's going to keep a little bit of wind, even though that cold front will weaken and back off a little bit. Uh, we'll be out of the advisory range as far as wind, but enough wind to keep the temperatures up overnight. So we're looking at wind speeds, I think overnight generally 10 to 15 miles per hour. And the second thing too, they'll keep us a bit warmer than you would think, is we've got some cloud cover, so we'll call it partly cloudy. Not quite the cloud cover for the Central Mountains, mostly clear, freezing up in Stanley, 38 for low in Chalice. And then for the upper highlands, western Wyoming, we dry out just basically partly cloudy skies and temperatures will hit the freezing mark, at least in Island Park, staying just above freezing in Jackson with a low of 34. Southeastern corner of the state, freezing in Montpelier at 30, a little colder than last night. 34 expected in Downey. And then tomorrow, we just got a lot of clouds and sunshine mixed in. Temperatures can't complain. They'll range from the mid-60s to 70 in Milan City. And then there's a chance of rain tomorrow for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. And of course, along the spine of the Tetons, you get up around eight, 9,000 feet. It'll be a rain-snow combination, at least a chance of that. Chance of some rain in the central mountains tomorrow. High temperatures, lower 50s, lower 60s. And for the Snake River Plain, another wind advisory. This one kicks in just like the one we're under now at noon tomorrow. We'll run until 8 this evening. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour uh, possible. Temperatures, though, still not bad. 68 in Pocatello. Idaho Falls around 64. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Looking ahead, more wind for your Wednesday, and we're cooler. Second front moves through late tomorrow. 56. We're in the 50s for a couple of days, but just in time for the weekend, we'll warm into the 60s. Idaho Falls seven-day forecast. We're dry for the next seven. We're not done yet, though, for the next two days as far as wind. We will be a bit cooler on Wednesday, and notice the low temperatures. Ooh, getting down there. Mid-20s will warm up a little bit for the weekend. Teton area, we have a chance of rain tomorrow. Windy, windy too, and Wednesday with a high of only 48, even colder on Thursday. High of only 44, and for the Central Mountains, there's that threat of rain tomorrow, so have your umbrella on standby. We're a little cooler Wednesday, but 60s will return for a couple days, Friday and Saturday.